Alright, I need four. I'll do it. Oh, Who said that? Y'all have to birthday coming up here. Yeah, come on. Mm. I volunteer. Come on, Kate. Alright, I need two ladies. Aww. You know the spirit of four, five, six. Carson? Oh, yeah. Carson? <laughs> no. Come on up. Come on, Ellie. Okay. Cool. Alright. Girls are gonna dominate. Who uh who has played the Atari and remembers no, rewind. Who remembers when the cell phone games, you guys, why am I asking this question? The adults will remember this. When they had the game Snake on it. Yes. Yeah, yes. alright. Have you guys ever played the game Snake? Is it? Yes. What's the object? Blobs and stuff you can get. <laughs> as many snakes you can. Okay, what happens when you eat a blob or a snake? Oh, you get bigger. Alright, alright. Oh, I played this game on cool. Here's your blob. I think we have a preview yet. Here's your blob. Here's your blob. Here's your blob. Here's your blob. You can't hit yourself, you die. So the object is to avoid yourself as long as possible while eating blobs. Look at this. This guy is really good. Oh. Oh, he went. Oh. Weird. Failure. Alright. So, here's how we're going to do this. Hey, Kate, didn't see you come in. What's up, buddy? All right, these are your blobs. All right. Oh, my God. All right. Come on. Seriously. All right. So, uh, let's see how we do this here. You have to walk. You have to walk. Okay. So, we're going to give every kid a, a blob. You guys are the snakes. All right. So, figure out. Who wants to be the lead snake? Yeah. Did you think hey, okay. 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 They won't be able to get you. Fourteen. 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 Fourte
14 and 14? Who's the independent side? And one left? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Right? 
just stock full of, let's see, four sugar. have 17 grams of sugar. That is more than your whole daily allowance should be. So just keep that in mind. When you eat four marshmallows, that is more sugar than you should have in one day. But what about, my, I mean, I love marshmallows because I really love s'mores. How many of you like s'mores? I love So I, there is nothing more that I like during the fall than to have like a little campfire and to roast marshmallows. Don't burn it. How many of you stick it right in the fire and burn it black? You just kind of want it gooey. Like the key to a, listen. The key to a good s'more is just that the marshmallow is just beginning to melt on the inside. Don't burn it. Okay. Another thing, another reason why I love marshmallows is because there is nothing better when sitting on the beach than eating a Rice Krispie treat. How many of you like Rice Krispie treats? Yes, and so what you need to do when you make them homemade, you need to add a little bit of extra marshmallows because when you pull them apart, you want that marshmallow like string out, you know what I'm saying? They're fabulous. And then, I mean, you can enjoy marshmallows all year long because then at Christmas time, how many of you have ever had popcorn balls that are made with marshmallows? Have y'all ever done that? It's kind of like Rice Krispie treats, but it's, instead of Rice Krispies in there, you put popcorn. Anybody else have anything that they eat with marshmallows? Aspen, what do you eat with marshmallows? That you turn green. I forgot what they were called. Mm -hmm. With oh, uh, hot chocolate. Peaks, no. are they marshmallows? Yeah. Yes. Yes. They marshmallows. Yes. That's what they say, but I'm not going to try that. Carson, what's something else? What do you like about mar What is something that you like with marshmallows? S'mores, though. That's s'mores, we already said that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So, everybody that wants one. What? gets to have my favorite treat, okay? So I'm gonna get my adults to help me, just somebody pass out to those that want it, a mar one marshmallow, okay? One marshmallow, but here's the thing. Listen, everybody listen. Y'all listen. Pay very close attention. You're gonna get one marshmallow now, but I'm gonna ask you, and you can eat it if you so choose. Okay, you can eat it now if you want to. But if you can hold it till the end, that would really be better. Okay, so you're more than welcome to go ahead and chow down on that sweet, sweet goodness right now if you want to. But if you can hold it until the end, that would really be better. Okay, so it's completely your choice. Okay. If you can hold off until the end, then please do. Okay. So everybody got their marshmallow, right? Yeah. I don't want to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. If you, okay, I'll, I'll give you a hint. If you don't eat it now, I'll give you a second one. Okay. Okay, so don't eat it now, and I'll give you a second one at the end. Okay, so what I've learned over the years is that waiting stinks. It is very difficult to wait. What is the hardest thing to wait for? Listen. Mr. Jeremy says that it is very hard for him to wait until football season. And for him, that's true. He has a countdown clock on his computer. Countdown to kickoff. Like we know at our house exactly how many days, how many hours, how many minutes until kickoff. I find it very difficult to wait for the last day of school. Me too. Right? How many of you find it very, very hard to wait? Like those last two or three weeks of school are torture. No, not Because I cannot wait. Is it difficult to wait for your birthday? Yes, it is. Not for Jonathan yes, because yes, today yes. is his birthday. No, when I say like a week, yeah, it's like Okay. 
Carson, what's hard to wipe for? Oh, whenever me and my brother, we stay home by ourselves, it's uh, hard to, it's difficult to wait for uh, our parents to get back out from work. Well, that is a good one. Ourselves. That is a good one. That's great. Is it hard to wait for Christmas? Yeah. 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 It feels like we celebrate Christmas forever, but the actual day doesn't come. Like, it takes so long to get to Christmas, right? So, even as we sit right now, some of you are having to wait. <laughs> because you can't wait. You are being, you're having to be very patient because at the end of the lesson, some of you are going to get another marshmallow, right? And so you're having to wait to eat your marshmallow. Hold on just a minute. It's easy to wait to eat the marshmallows. For some of you, it might be easy. And for some of you, it's not. How many of you, sometimes when you're waiting, feel anxious? Do you know what that means, to feel anxious? For me... Micah, your next seat is going to be over there by yourself. Okay? Anxious sometimes makes you feel nervous. Sometimes, so like Carson said, sometimes he and his brother have to be patient and wait for his parents to come home from work during the day. They may feel anxious waiting on them to come. What about if you have a test coming up? You have to be patient, right, for the teacher to get around to pass you the test. And sometimes that might make you feel what? Anxious. Nervous or anxious, right? How about if you're getting ready to go to Disney World? That, that's a big countdown at our house, too, when we go to Disney World. And my kids get downright frantic. Do you know what it means to be frantic? No. It means you're running around like a crazy person. Did I pack my bathing suit? Do I have my Mickey ears? What about my t-shirt? Where's my shoes? I can't find my shoes. Where's my, I'll just take my flip-flops. Well, I can only find one flip-flop. That's being frantic, right? You ever seen your mom or dad be frantic or have you ever felt that way? That would be most mornings before school at our house, right? And we We're wait frantic. To, and we can't wait to get to camp. That's right. So we find ourselves every day having to wait, right? What are some things that you have to wait for every single day? What is one? Oh, okay. So you have to wait till your dinner's ready or till lunch. What else? What do we have to wait for? For the pool to be ready. Okay, for the pool to be ready, maybe. What else, Carson? The bathroom. Oh, some of you have to wait in line for the restroom. My kids at school, they have to wait for recess, right? Any of y'all have to wait to go outside for recess? So, in a, so just every single day we have to wait. We wait at the doctor's office. We wait at the gas station. We wait. Some of you are waiting right now to eat your marshmallow, right? So here's the thing, though. Waiting is not something new. It is not new to 2019. It is not new to kids. It is People have been waiting for all of time. Okay, so let's think back. Let's think back into the Bible days. And I want to tell you a story about some people in the Bible that had to wait. See, God promised that he would send what? Jesus. A Messiah. He would send the Messiah, right? The, he would send a Savior to the world, right? But did anybody know when that was going to happen? No. No. So what were people having to do? They were having to wait. All right. So I'm going to need some volunteers. I need four volunteers. So I'll pick... Two boys. Let me get Caden and Jonathan. Come on. <laughs> well, it's his birthday, so yeah. No, no, me and Jonathan. Oh, did y'all go through last time? Yeah. Okay, go sit down. Let me pick two more. You can stay, Jonathan, because it's your birthday. Come on, Carson. All right, and then let me pick two girls that didn't get picked. Aspen and Leah. Come on. Do I leave my marshmallow? Yeah, you can leave your marshmallow. All right, here's what I want you guys to do. I'm going to need for you to draw a face on a marshmallow. Come up on the stage. Oh, come on. It's easy. Okay, but i got to tell you what you got to draw. 
I need you to draw just the face of a woman. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> draw me the face of a baby. Oh, okay. Draw me the face of a ugly man. Draw me the face of a handsome man. Okay. So we just draw. Oh, by the way, you got thirty seconds. Oh. So I don't need any artist major artistry. I just need you to draw me a face. Carson, just draw Sam. Just draw Carson. Just draw Sam. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Ready, 10? No, 9? 20 seconds. 8? Oh, 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 sorry. Now the end. I'm not getting my own timer, by the way. You know what I'm doing? I'll see. Okay, good. What is that? Okay, so is that her eyes right there? So this would be her body, right? Okay, hold her like that. Oh, my God. Okay, you done? What is this one? A baby. Okay, so you hold the baby like that. Close your marker. This is this is a, 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 this He's old. Yeah, I love it. And this is his. Uh, it's fabulous. I totally see it. Yeah, look like that. Okay, you drew. Oh, he has a bow tie. Okay. All right. So y'all stand up. And I'm gonna call you down here when I need you in just a minute. Okay. Okay. Everybody listen. Everybody listen. Let me read you something real quick. Are you ready? All right, so after Jesus died on the cross, came back to life, and ascended into heaven, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit down to work in the lives of believers. But God's Spirit was at work long before when it hovered over the waters of the newly formed earth. This is a man. It's a woman. Be gentle. God's Spirit was active in men like David and Gideon. And later, before Jesus was born, God's Spirit spoke to a man named Simeon. Everybody say that. Simeon. Not Simon. Simeon. Simeon. Okay. And this is, Luke wrote about Simeon in the Gospel of Luke, the third book of the New Testament. So what we know about Simeon is that he was very faithful. What does it mean to be faithful? Okay, so it could mean to be trustworthy. What else? To be faithful. No matter what, you're going to do that. Very good. So we know that Simeon was very faithful. He was very faithful to go to the temple in Jerusalem every day. And he would go to the temple, and at the temple would be wise men, teachers, and Simeon would go to the temple every day, and he would listen to the teachers, and he would take in all this stuff that they were teaching. So every day. And sometimes Simeon would spend his time at the temple praying and listening for God to speak. And so as the time went by, one day Simeon heard God speak. Simeon, God spoke to Simeon. And this is what he said. He said, Simeon, I promise that you will not die until you have seen the Messiah. You will not die until you have seen the Messiah. So who is my old man? You're, no, you're the old man? I'm the ugly man. That's old. Okay, good. You come here. <laughs> okay. So Simeon was so excited. God promised. And Simeon trusted God's promises, right? So Simeon knew in his heart that God would not let him down, right? He was faithful. And so he knew that one day he would see the Messiah before he died. Did Simeon know when? No. No, God didn't tell Simeon when it was going to happen. He had no idea. And so for years, Simeon continued to go to the temple. He continued to pray, okay? So about this time, uh, the Holy Spirit came and spoke to two, a man and a woman named Mary and Joseph. And what did the Holy Spirit say to Mary and Joseph? Does anybody remember? They were going to have a baby. Mary was going to have a baby, right? But who was the baby going to be? The Messiah. Jesus. Jesus. And Jesus would be the Messiah, right? Jesus was going to be the Savior. So let me have the, the woman, the man, and the baby. No. Oh. Okay? 
So after, so here we go. After um, Jesus was born, Jesus's parents, Mary and Joseph, took took Jesus to the temple. Okay, they took baby Jesus right to the temple, and guess who just so happened to be at the temple? The old man. Yeah. What is his name? What is the old man's name? Old man Jesus. Simeon. And what did God tell Simeon? That he would see the Messiah before he, before he died. Before he died, he would see the Messiah. And look, who does he see? He sees the Messiah. And so the Bible tells us that Simeon actually held the Messiah. So I'm not, I'm not going to ask you to hold the baby. Okay. But Simeon got to hold the Messiah. God fulfilled his promise. What would have happened if Simeon had not been patient? Do you think every day that he went to the temple and he listened to these teachers and he knew in his mind that God said he would deliver, that he would see the Messiah? Do you think, is it today, God? Are you going to, I mean, I'm starting to get old. What's going to happen? When am I going to get to see the Messiah? Are you really going to do this? Do you think that's what Simeon said? No. No. He was patient. Simeon was patient. Okay? So Simeon must have been a phenomenally patient person. Okay? Um, He didn't seem to lose faith, and he didn't lose his patience. He trusted the promise that God would fulfill, and he continued to be devoted to God. Thank y'all. Y'all can take your um, thing to go sit down. What? Oh, don't hurt him. Go sit down. All right, so let's be honest. Of all the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, that's where we are, right? Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The hardest for most of us is probably going to be what? Patience. It is for me. Being patient is very difficult. I get very frustrated in traffic because I'm not patient, right? Why is this traffic not moving? Why is everybody sitting still? That's patience. I get very impatient with my children. Why are we not dressed? Why are we not ready to go? What are we doing? So patience is going to be the hardest one. So many times, right now, it is not possible to be patient. It can take minutes, hours, days, or even years for things to come true. But patience is a fruit of the Spirit. Do you eat the seed, or do you have to wait until the fruit matures? You have to wait until it matures, right? It's a fruit of the Spirit. Do you want to eat a green banana? No. 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 You have to wait until it ripens, right? So that's the same thing with patience. We have to wait and be patient, all right? So speaking of waiting... Some of you managed to patiently wait oh. and not to eat your marshmallow. Me. I didn't eat it. So, like Simeon, like Simeon, those of you that waited will be rewarded as you move to small group, okay? But here's what I want to know. Are you one that gets upset and start messing around when you're having to wait? Some of you have had a hard time waiting today. Really think about that, though, and be honest. In small group, you're going to get a chance to talk more about being patient, okay? But the next time your mom or your dad or your teacher or someone asks you to be patient, you can think about who from the Bible that was very patient. Simeon. Right. Okay, very good. All right, let's close in prayer, and then we'll move to small group, okay? Oh, have to do those. You'll get it when you get to small group. Mm-hmm. Worship. Oh, yeah, worship. You're right. All right, everybody bow your heads, close your eyes. Let's close in prayer, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, God, I just thank you so much for this day, God. And, Lord, I just pray as these students move forward, Lord, and, and that you continue to mold them and teach them about the fruits of the Spirit, God. When we think about patience, Lord, I just pray that you will... Um, Give us calm and help us in times of worry and angst and anxiousness, God, that you would just give us patience. 
And Father, I just pray that you would be with each and every student as they learn to develop those feelings inside their heart, God. We just thank you for all the things that you've given us and all the patience that you've had with us as we've all made mistakes and, and not gone the way that we should. God, we just ask all these things in your precious and holy name. Amen. Amen.